California's Sonoma State home. Charlie Follett, a 14-year-old ward, is singing in a field when he's ordered inside. Dorsey shot me with some kind of medicine. It's supposed to deaden the nerve. Then the next thing I heard was snip, snip, and that was it. Did they tell you what they were doing to you? No. They didn't have to tell him. He knew. A sterilization by force. How did you know what it was? Well, because, see, there's been others in there that had it before me. The other boys at the home had warned him how much it would hurt. Well, when they done this side here, it seemed like they were pulling the whole insides out. The 1930s through the 1950s were the heyday of the eugenics movement in the United States. The goal? To rid the country of the feeble-minded, defectives. And it wasn't some fringe or secretive program. It was well known and paid for by the states where it was practiced. Entire families labeled shiftless, degenerates. 60,000 men and women, boys and girls, sterilized. Some living at home, others like Follett in state institutions. His parents were alcoholics and couldn't care for him and his sister. 32 states had eugenics programs, but California was in a league of its own. The Golden State sterilized 20,000 people, more than twice as many as the next state, Virginia, and a full third of the nation's total. It was led by California's elite, including, at the time, the president of Stanford University and the publisher of the Los Angeles Times. The efficiency of California's program didn't go unnoticed. In the 1930s, the Nazi party in Germany was so impressed it asked for advice, and Californians leading the program were only too happy to help. 